Hello everyone and welcome to Creative Paper Canvas. My name is Amy Pankaw. I'd like to wish each and every one of you a happy holiday season and a happy new year. Today's card creation was born out of the challenge of using a stencil and being the holiday season I wanted to create a holiday card. The challenge with that is I did not have any holiday stencils. So later in the video I'm going to show you how to create your own stencils out of your dies. The products I'm using today are Stampin' Up's Stitched Snowflake Dies. We're going to use three of the snowflakes out of this set. Altenew's Holiday Script Words Die. We'll be using the word Believe out of this set. And Gina K. Glitz Glitter Gel in Silver. I'm also using several inks that I'll show you throughout the process of making the card. The first one is Altenew's Dye Ink in Sapphire. I'll also use Altenew's Persian Blue Ink Pad and All Purpose Ink Champagne Mist, as well as Altenew's Ink Spray called Antique Silver. So the first step in making this card is to blend the Persian blue ink onto a piece of five and a quarter by four inch cardstock. This is a Nina White cardstock. And I like using these blending brushes and holding them right at the head of the brush. It gives me a sense of pretty good control when I'm moving the ink around. And really what we're going to do is just cover the greater majority of the card in an oval shape, I guess you could say, and leaving the edges white. And I'll give you a hint when you're blending. If you have difficulty with getting globs of ink in one spot and, and you're having trouble blending it around, dab your brush off on a piece of scrap paper before you put ink to the paper and that will help you get a more even blend. The next step in building the card is to spatter some ink on the card panel. I'm using Sapphire Altenew Reinker. And the sapphire color and the Persian blue color both come from Altenew's color family called Glacier Caves. So you know that they're going to match well in their hue once you get them on the card. I'm using a Tim Holtz spatter brush. It has long plastic bristles that works very well to spatter ink. And you can use a lot of products. You can use an old toothbrush to spatter ink. You can use a paintbrush tapped on your finger, but I find that I gravitate toward this brush quite often. Next I'm going to spray Altenew Metallic Archival Ink in the antique silver color on the card front, and this creates a fine mist spray on your card. It does take a couple of moments to dry, so you want to set it aside for a couple of minutes. You could also use your heat gun to help it dry faster. You can see here I have already cut out my snowflakes for the card and I'm just going to poke out the um, brads, if you will, <laughs> out of the snowflakes and get them ready to apply to the card. Next I'm going to give the snowflakes a sparkle using the champagne mist. You'll put several drops of this in your mister tool and fill the tool with 70% isopropyl alcohol and then just give it a spray a light spray if you want a lighter glitter and the heavier you spray the more concentrated the shine will be and then let that dry. That dries very quickly actually. To create the stencil I'm using a piece of relatively thick vellum cardstock and I'm sorry I don't have the pound weight of the vellum but you can match the vellum you're going to use to one of your stencils at home and get the thickness as close as you can. And then I'm using a sharp tool here just to be sure that I get any extra slivers of vellum from the embossing technique out of there uh, so that we have a clean edge to stencil with. I'm going to spray some pixie spray on the back of my stencil. This is a light tack repositionable adhesive for purposes like this and it'll do two things. It'll help to keep my stencil in place and it helps to keep the embossing paste from getting underneath your stencil. And then use a smooth plastic spatula to spread your embossing paste around. You want to spread it evenly and smoothly across the top. 
and then remove the stencil as soon as you can. Embossing paste doesn't dry immediately, but it does set up pretty quickly. And if you plan to reuse the stencil that you've made, you want to wash that embossing paste off as soon as you can so it doesn't ruin your stencil. I'm going to glue these snowflakes in position on the card front. And once the snowflakes are in place, I'm going to glue several rhinestone embellishments on the front of the card because this card just needs more sparkle. <laughs> I'm putting the rhinestones down in groups of three on several areas of the card front. I'll just finish up here. I think I've told you this before, but even when embellishments come with a glued back, I always glue them down because that glued back I find just doesn't stick well. It doesn't have permanent staying power. So here's the finished card front, and I guess you'll have to take my word for it. This card really does have a lot of sparkle and shine to it. So I put some foam tape on to raise it off the front of the card base and here is our finished card. Thank you for joining me today at Creative Paper Canvas. I hope you enjoyed the card and I hope it inspires you to play with your stencils more and even create some of your own stencils. I wish everybody a happy holiday season and a happy new year. My name is Amy Pancraw. You can follow me at Creative Paper Canvas. I hope you have a good day.